Hey guys, Mike Combat here with another Mortal Kombat 11 related video. Today I'm going to be predicting the possible 19 DLC characters for Mortal Kombat 11. And I gotta preface this, this is a predictions list and not a wish list. To me, a wish list is who that person wants in the game and nobody else. A prediction list is a educated guess. And this is just all, these are just my guesses. You gotta take these with a grain of salt because these aren't necessarily people that I personally would want in a Mortal Kombat game. These are characters I think Netherrealm Studios are possibly going to be adding to Mortal Kombat 11 more so than others. Maybe there's one or two here that I'm a bit iffy on, but I think I got a good grasp on who they might be adding to the game. So let's get the characters out of the way that have already been in the leak list. By the way, I was going off the Switch leak list, so. If anything is wrong, then blame the switch. Terminator, Ash from the Evil Dead series, Spawn, Joker, Fujin, Shiva, Nightwolf, Sindel, and Shang Tsung have all been in the DLC leak list from the Switch data mine. Now in the leak list there is story DLC, and I think that story DLC is Hydro. Mainly because in the Cyber Initiative stage there is a blue cyborg that we never saw in the story mode. So this is just a model in the game that is there for, oddly enough, no reason. So I think this would be a great chance for Netherrealm Studios to give us a brand new character. And what they could do is something like what they did with Triborg or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and give him variations of Sector, Cyrax, Smoke, and Cyber Sub-Zero, effectively making a character that is essentially five characters, which would be pretty awesome. Just make the variations three points that replace all the character's special moves for that character. So instead of having all the special moves for, you know, uh, Hydro, it would be Sector or Cyrax or etc. And if Netherrealm Studios wanted to go over and above, what they could do is make one special fatality for each variation. So one special fatality for Se Sector and Cyrax and Smoke and Cyber Sub-Zero. Just one. Uh, that way there'd be a total of six fatalities for this one character. And, you know, you wouldn't have the Sector variation doing something that is Hydro variation related. Now also in the leak list is Environmental DLC, and I think the Environmental DLC is Ermac from the Crypt, mainly because Ermac has his own unique layer model. Unlike the other ninjas that fall from the uh, platform above and hit the spikes, Ermac is the only one who has his own unique model. He looks awesome. I wish he was in the main game, but uh, he has to be prob he's probably, he's probably just going to be DLC, which is what sucks about it. And I've already said in my previous video that I'm not going to try and just be completely and utterly negative about these uh, Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat X characters being DLC characters. I'm just going to try and enjoy the game at this point. So I think Ermac probably has a good chance of being DLC. My next prediction is Pennywise, mainly because the IT Chapter 2 movie is going to be coming out soon and Warner Brothers does own the rights to Pennywise, and Pennywise would be a very interesting character for a Mortal Kombat game, Ex especially if Joker is in the game too, because those two dialogues would be funny as hell to go together. My next prediction would be Michael Myers, again, mainly because he did have a movie that came out, and they've been doing these slasher horror characters in... Mortal Kombat, a la Freddy Krueger, Jason, Leatherface, Predator, and Xenomorph aren't really slasher killers, they're more sci-fi, but still, that's going to be interesting to see how they do uh, uh, Michael Myers. Next, I think John Wick, yes, Keanu Reeves, is going to be in Mortal Kombat. I think he would be really cool with doing close range gun kata and, and all those special moves and none of you are believing that I actually put this on the list of you. Okay, fine. I just really want Keanu Reeves to be in a Mortal Kombat game. I don't really want Neo in it. I would rather have John Wick. Okay, really in this spot is Reptile slash Chameleon, but the only thing that's kind of making me iffy on this character being a DLC character is the fact that his Mortal Kombat X model is in the game and not his... And not a, not a new model, it's, it's kind of weird. Why would you have a Mortal Kombat X model with him in his, you know, Mortal Kombat X gear in the crypt? Unlike Ermac, who got his own unique look. Uh, that's why I'm saying Reptile slash Chameleon. 
Uh, and if it is Chameleon, this would be Chameleon's first time in a in the new timeline of games. He was he or she was in the Armageddon game, but this would be a cool way to actually implement them into the new timeline of games. Next, I took a guess at the Cleric of Chaos, and he's the only other character on my predictions list that I'm kind of iffy on. I would like to see him in the game. I would like to see him implemented in the new timeline. I'd be interested in his gear and his arcade ending as well as fatalities, but I wasn't entirely sure if they would put him in the game or if he would fit properly. But you know, this was just kind of the iffy one that I didn't really know if he would fit but I added him in because I think he would be interesting. Next, I wanted to guess Nitara. Now think about this for a second. Scarlet and Nitara dialogue sequence, go. A Bloodmancer and a Vampire having a dialogue sequence. I think that would be pretty cool. And I'm also kind of predicting her because they had Vampiris Melina in the mobile version and Vampiris Melina in the mobile version had wings. And I, I kind of want to say that was a way of them testing out wings for a Mortal Kombat game. So maybe Nitara would have a shot in Mortal Kombat 11. Maybe one of her brutalities is that she thralls the opponent and they're just a walking, talking like zombie. Or she sucks all the blood from their bodies and they're just like a hollow husk. Th those are just two um, ideas for brutalities. I don't know what her fatalities would be. Again, she is a vampire, but that would just be really interesting to see in a Mortal Kombat game. Another character I firmly believe should have been in the main roster, but probably will be DLC now, is Serena. Um, I believe she could have done more in the story than being DLC. She could have taking Scorpion's spot in the Sub-Zero and, Scor uh, Sub and Scorpion Cyber Initiative attack uh, chapter of the story. when, Especially when they met up with uh, Noob Cybot, she could have said a line along the lines of, uh, I was once controlled by Quan Chi's power, and you freed me. Now it is my turn to free you. They didn't put her in the game, which made me kind of sad. But this is kind of their chance to redeem that and watch them have a dialogue sequence. If she is in the game, watch her have a dialogue sequence with Noob Saibot along those lines of, now I will save you. I think Serena would be an amazing character for Mortal Kombat 11. She, ha she again is part demon. I would love to see how that would be implemented into her fighting style and her abilities, as well as hopefully her fatalities and brutality. Next, I think one of the best combat kids are unfortunately going to be DLC, and he is Takeda Takahashi. He just went missing from this game, and it's kind of sad that he wasn't put into Mortal Kombat 11, and instead Jacqueline Briggs was, and that bug character that no one cares about. I would have rather have seen him in the game than Jack. I think he, he is legitimately the best combat kid, even though Cassie Cage has that one very fucking good fatality. And the last one, if you haven't guessed yet, is going to be Molina. Uh, Molina is such a popular character in Mortal Kombat, and yes, Molina is my favorite Mortal Kombat character. And people are constantly asking for Molina to be in Mortal Kombat 11 to Ed Boon. And when everyone saw that Katana had Melina Sai when they were showing her off, that kind of pissed everyone off. I really think NRS should stop giving a character other characters weapons because then that's kind of assuring that they're not going to be in the game and that pisses people off. But I think Melina absolutely positively should be in the game even if she looks like this and she's all covered up, I wouldn't care. I would just be happy to have my favorite character in Mortal Kombat 11. I seriously miss playing as Melina, but I do think she has a high probability of being DLC, and I hope, I hope she's DLC. I want to see my favorite character back in Mortal Kombat. And those are my predictions of the characters I think are going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. What do you guys think of my list? Do you think these characters will or won't be in Mortal Kombat 11? And if not, please put your own list down in the comments below. Again, I'm going off the Datamind leak list of the Switch version, so maybe there's not 19 DLC. But I don't feel like making two or three or four separate DLC predictions video. I'd rather just make the one. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And follow me on Twitter for more updates on future videos. See you all in the next one. Are you ready?
soul is mine.